Hey everyone, Trey Mick from Magnet Forensics here, and today I'm excited to walk through the collection and investigation of an AWS S3 bucket with Axiom Cyber. With the recent release of Axiom Cyber, we now have the ability to complete remote endpoint collections as well as collect from cloud sources like AWS S3 buckets, EC2 instances, and Microsoft Teams. For this case, we're going to utilize Axiom Cyber to collect from an S3 bucket of a user under investigation. Before we get started in Axiom Cyber though, there are a few pieces of information that you'll need in order to utilize Axiom with your AWS environment. I'd suggest working with your cloud ops team to get your accounts configured correctly, but the information you'll need can be found in the IAM console. You'll need your access key ID, secret access key, assigned MFA device, your role ARN, and your region. So I'm in Axiom Cyber. I'm going to go ahead and kick off this case by going to Evidence Sources. I'm going to go to Cloud. I'm going to go to Acquire Evidence. I'm going to click on AWS. And as you can see with the sign in for AWS, we start by asking your access key, your secret key, and your region. So I'm going to go ahead and put that information in now. I've moved the login window for AWS off my screen just so I can sign in with my secret key. I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in. The next one that pops up from AWS is going to be where you assign your role, your serial number, and you put in your MFA code. So I'm going to go ahead and once again move this off screen. But one thing I want to note when you are signing into AWS, as you can see in this window, we have a Find AWS Authentications Detail article already built out for you in our resource center. So I'm going to hop over to that just so I can show off what that looks like for you when you are uh, you know, wanting to sign in for the first time. And as you can see here, we have the AWS authentication details acquired uh, for AWS S3 buckets or C2 instances. And this is going to walk you through how to find that information, or if you need to, go ahead and create that information for the first time. So make sure you check that out when you are configuring Axiom to work inside your AWS environment. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this off screen again and put in my role and serial number and my MFA code, and then we'll be right back. Now that I've signed into AWS, you can see we have some options here as far as the date range we want to collect from, as well as do we want the S3 buckets or we, do we want the EC2 instances. We'll be doing a separate video to talk about EC2 instances soon. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and select the AWS S3 files, and then I'm going to go over to Edit. And this is where you can start navigating down to see what all buckets you can collect from. And as you can see here, we've got several buckets that are potential interest for us. But for this particular case, I'm going to look at Selena's. And as you can see, we can expand her bucket out to actually get an idea of what's going on inside that bucket as a part of this investigation. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and just say I want the entire bucket. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. Now that we've got her bucket selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit Next again. And this is just going to move you down into the different processing details, just as you normally would operate inside of Axiom. But one thing I am going to do uh, on the evidence sources page is I'm going to go ahead and change this evidence number to actually uh, include the information for Selena. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this as Selena S3 bucket. I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to hop down to the artifacts detail and under the cloud artifacts. And since we are only working with uh, Amazon S3 files, I'm going to go ahead and hit clear all. And I'm only going to select that S3 file because I really don't need to look for processing other artifacts out when I know exactly what I'm looking for here. From here, I'm going to go ahead and hit go to analyze evidence and then analyze evidence one more time. And once this kicks off, we'll be right back and uh, take a look at the files inside of Actium Cyber Examine. For this particular case, we acquired Selena Kyle's S3 bucket that's being used for document storage. However, different organizations will house various types of data in their AWS environments that may need to be investigated, whether it be from potential data breaches to fraud investigations. But let's go ahead and quickly review the data that we've collected. So as you can see, we've got Selena's S3 bucket and we can see there's some documents in, in there. So let's go ahead and hit view evidence for the source only. And when I navigate down, as you can see under documents, we've got a bunch of PDFs. And obviously when we click on these, we can look on the right-hand side or in the preview to see all the documents that we have collected. If we move on down to cloud though, we can see under the cloud Amazon S3 artifact that we have, in fact, that zip that we originally saw when we were making this collection. And once again, on the right-hand side, we get the attachments preview of everything that was actually inside of that zip. So it makes very quick and light work of knowing exactly what you pulled from uh, the different files in this S3 bucket. That being said though, you can then also use Axiom Cyber to acquire uh, Selena's endpoint or you know their uh, Office 365 or Slack accounts and really build connections and really show off the power of what Axiom can do to make your investigations move just a little bit faster. We're really excited about Axiom Cyber. If you're interested in learning more or getting a trial license, make sure to reach out to our sales team. 
Thanks for joining.